Hi everyone, it's Fantastic Crafts here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this little cherry filled donut. It's also filled with cherry and it has powdered on the powdered donut thing. And first, I'm going to start off by showing you the materials you will be needing. You're going to be needing, it can either be oven baked clay or regular clay like just you find at Hobby Lobby or a local craft store. If you want, this is optional, you can have a star tip if you want to put a little thing in the middle, That, but I'm not going to be probably doing that. You're going to need um, some little hook type things. I got these at Hobby Lobby. You're going to be needing a paintbrush, a, some acrylic paint, a roller, to, but that's optional, and you, if you have another way of putting the powdered sugar, tell me on the comments below, but um, I'm going to be, be using chalk pastels. Now, I'm just going to take a little section, about a little chunk of Palmer clay, not too big because it comes in thick. And I'm just gonna take that section of Palmer clay and I'm not gonna need too much, so I'm gonna cut that off with my tool. And I'm gonna make it a little thick and you're not gonna put a hole through the middle this time. And you're gonna texture it into a square type circle thing you don't want it too big if you want you can also just kind of roll it out a little put it in a circle I think the best way is rolling it in a circle and then kind of flatting it out a little bit I think that's probably gonna be the way you want to do it see that's a perfect size all right now after it's not too small or too thick I'm just gonna start off by with the acrylic paint how I'm gonna do that I'm gonna make I'm gonna also be needing oh I forgot to tell you I found this little dotting tool at Hobby Lobby I actually got it from Christmas and I'm just gonna put a little hole like you could probably barely even see it but a little hole not too big not too small and on the other side try to make it even but put a little hole so you can see how they're doing so you're gonna put acrylic paint in the little you you don't want to go all the way through because that's going to be hard and it's going to mess up your whole donut donut so you don't need a lot of acrylic paint i just poured a little bean so i'm just going to take a little bit of acrylic paint and i'm going to dab it and dab it and dab it and dab it until i get you it it's okay if it's a little messy because that's what cherry donuts are a little messy and yeah so i'm gonna do that on one side you kind of don't want it to you kind of want it to dry and i'm gonna on here i'm just gonna put a little acrylic paint or any paint in here and wait for that to dry and while you're reading, you could just leave that in there and set it aside. Now you're going to wait for that to dry for like a few seconds. Well, while you're doing that, you want to start putting your chalk pastels. And once again, I showed you my chalk pastels. So you're going to put this to the side real quick. And you're going to figure out which color you want to um be here to uh you know what i mean to um put on your donut so i'm gonna take this little scraper i found and i'm gonna 
choose the white one, this one, so I'm, the, I'm just going to choose a white one, which is that one, and yeah, I'm going to scrape a little bit of that like this. with my little tool and just scrape it so I have the dust and yeah I'm just going to scrape it till I have enough dust I think and what I'm going to do I'm going to take a little I'm just going to put some on here by just sprinkling sprinkling a little on my fingers and just sprinkling some of my fingers and then with the pow the donut I'm just gonna like flick it on and just take some and flick it on it might take a while it depends on how neat you want it to look or how realistic. I'm just gonna take it, my powdered donut again. I'm gonna see, place it right in the middle so you can see it. And I'm just, once again, putting that in the middle. And that might take about five, 15, maybe it depends. So I'm just gonna keep on going. And it's okay if you get a little acrylic paint on you, that happens, but this is probably going to stay on if you bake it, so you don't have to worry about um, how it sticks on, because when you bake it, it's probably going to stick on. I'm just going to... I'm just gonna keep on doing it. It might it takes quite a long time. So and even if you want to to save some time just put some in there and it'll probably be a little bit better or if you want you can take a little scooper thing and place some on there and of course you're gonna get messy I'm gonna move this chalk out of the way I'm gonna do it more and more and more and more and more and more and you as you can see I really made a mess but I'm gonna try to go as fast as I can you know what? I'm just gonna do this There, I'm pretty much all done with the cherry donut. Here's what it looks like at the end once it's all dry. And now I'm going to go bake it.
it's all done and this is what it looks like. Alright, guys, thank you so much for watching and stay tuned and for my next video and please make sure to comment if you want more tutorials of donuts and thank you for watching. Bye.